The Credit Show podcast with Harry Jacobs starts now. It's kind of an interesting story. You know, I always wonder about, you know, where the banks make the most money, where where they're raking it in. Things changed after 2008, you know, with Dodd-Frank when the economy collapsed. The Obama administration created the, you know, helped to create the Dodd-Frank Act, right? Did a, did a lot of things. There were a number of things that were affected in our financial lives as a result of lessons learned from the housing collapse. One of the things that is an area where banks make money and are, and, and are allowed to make money with fees, continue to make money with fees, is the non-sufficient funds fees. So when you overdraft your account, the banks are allowed to to charge you a significant amount of money. Well, the fees have dropped about a, a, this is kind of a crazy number. I had no idea where we were with this. I don't pay attention to banking fees generally. The fees have dropped $1.5 billion since 2019. The uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has been monitoring overdraft and those NSF fees. The interesting thing here is the data for all four quarters of 2022 shows a reduction compared to where we were you know, pre-pandemic levels. So in 2022 alone, the revenue was approximately $1.5 billion lower than in 2019. Now, here's where it gets crazy. Listen to this. Despite the reduction, consumers still paid over $7.7 billion last year alone. 2022. That's how much the banks made from us. It was consistently, from 2015 to 2019, 11 to $12 billion. Isn't that crazy? The reason it was reduced... You know, the thought is that in 2020 and 21, when the pandemic was happening, people had extra cash. So just just a little bit of little bit of finance data for you. The banks make 7.7 billion dollars in overdraft fees on us. Be careful about overdrafting your account. You've been listening to the Credit Show podcast with Harry Jacobs. If you need assistance with your credit, text credit to 702-778-2000.